Hi, welcome to the first video. Um, this is about the heart, the blood flow through the heart, and the basic physiology, um, uh, including structures and valves. Um, I'm a visual learner. I really struggled with learning the heart until I taught myself to, to draw it. Now I can draw it by memory. Um, it was only when I did that that I actually really understood it. So I'm going to reproduce this for you in the hope that it may help some people out there. Please comment on the video. Let me know if I'm wasting my time or not. Um, if this is useful for people, I'll be, um, you know, more kind of encouraged to to, to kind of post more things um, and share more. So I'm going to start now with a superior vena cava. That's the superior vena cava. The right border of the heart. We always refer to the patient's side. So it's my left, but it's actually the patient's right. So we call this the right side of the heart. Inferior vena cava. Coming round to the apex. The pulmonary veins. In real life, there are actually four of these coming from the left and right, but it's not possible for me to draw it this way. Okay, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, apex, pulmonary veins. I'm now going to add in some of the structures, including the valves. This is the wall of the heart, the inside wall, the endocardium that is. Okay. Internally, around about the apex, we have a structure called the interventricular septum, which is what I'm drawing now. Okay, I'm going to add in now the pulmonary arteries and the aortic, aortic artery, which at this point will be known as the aortic arch. So here we go. Again, this is just a schematic diagram to help you understand the physiology. By no means an accurate anatomical representation. So there we have it, finished. Just do this quickly. So there we have a sketch of the heart. If you watch this video a few times, I'm sure you'll, you'll kind of pick up how I drew this. Alright, so I'm going to go through all the structures now, including the valves. Um, we have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Both, this is the inferior vena cava emptying in here, both emptying into the right atrium. So this is the right atrium. We then have the right ventricle. Before the blood reaches the right ventricle, it goes through a valve. This valve on the right side of the heart is known as the um, bicuspid or mitral valve. The right ventricle then contracts, pushes the blood through the pulmonary um, valve into the pulmonary trunk, which splits into the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery, going to the right and left lungs. The blood then returns through the pulmonary veins, to the pulmonary veins, into the left atrium, passes through 
the bicuspid or mitral, sorry, this is the tricuspid here, I said that wrong, this is tricuspid, this is bicuspid or mitral, into the left ventricle. It is then pushed out through the left ventricle through the aortic valve into the aortic arch. Put aortic arch, or they just call that the aorta. The blood goes round, passes back behind the heart. We can't see, it goes behind the heart into the abdominal aorta. Okay, here we have an inferior vena cava, superior vena cava. Okay, here we have the arteries carrying blood to the top of the body. This will be the brachiocephalic trunk. This will be the left common carotid artery. This will be the left subclavian artery. I'm now going to do the blood flow so you can um, understand it. Deoxygenated blood is blue. Deoxygenated blood from the, t from the superior part of the body, the upper body, comes into the right atrium. From the inferior, also into the right atrium passes through these valves, both these sets of valves here and here, known as the atrioventricular valve, atrioventricular valves, separate the atrium ventricular. This interventricular septum, ventricle, ventricle, interventricular divides the two, very logically named. Anyway, blood comes from the superior part of the body and the inferior part of the body via the vena cava into the right atrium, pass through this atrioventricular valve, the which on the right side is known as the tricuspid, into the right ventricle, then passes from the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary artery, again nicely and logic nice and logically named. The pulmonary trunk bifurcates into the left and right pulmonary arteries, which respectively go to the right and left lungs. They return as oxygenated blood via the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. They pass again through another atrioventricular valve, this time known as the bicuspid or mitral valve into the left ventricle. And they then pass from the left ventricle into the aorta via the aortic, through the aortic valve, go around the aortic arch. And this is how the body is supplied with oxygenated blood. Some of that blood will pass through the aorta, which goes behind the heart, which we can't actually see. This is supplying oxygen and into the abdominal aorta, which supplies blood to the lower part of the body. And some of that blood will go through these trunks, the brachiocephalic trunk, the um, left common carotid artery, and the left subclavian artery. And there we have it, the complete blood flow through the heart. Um, sorry I had to rush, I only have 10 minutes on these videos um, and I didn't time. Um, but you can watch it as many times as you need. I'm going to post another video straight after going over the electrophysiology of the heart. Please comment, please let me know if this is worth my while. Thanks.